To be able to update, you will need four things. Number one, a desktop computer or a laptop on Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. Number two, a fully charged battery for your camera. Number three, an SD card. And number four, patience, because you don't want to mess anything up. Okay, so step number one is to download the latest firmware. Open up a browser and head over to usa.canon.com. Go to drivers and downloads. From here, you can just enter the name of your camera or you could simply scroll down and choose EOS and Rebel Digital Cameras. From this big list, you will choose EOS R. Then you should click on drivers and downloads and then on firmware. And you can see that the latest firmware is 1.4.0 and it's available for both Mac and Windows. I'm a Windows user and I will choose this one. So I click on select, check this box right here and then click on download. I like to keep my files very organized, so I created a folder named Canon EOS R. Inside, I made another folder called Firmware Updates, and lastly, a folder named 1.4.0. This way, when a new update comes up, it will have its own new folder, 1.4.1, for example. So I will enter this folder and click Save. When you navigate to the folder where you save the file, you'll notice that it's a zip file, so you will need to extract the files first. Just right-click, Choose Extract All and then Extract. This will make a new folder and the file that you need to copy later on your SD card is this one. Let's get back to step number two from this tutorial. In step number one, I explained how to download the firmware and now you will need an SD card for the update and here is what you need to do first. You insert the card into your laptop or card reader and then you right click on it and choose Format. This is the safest thing to do and I always do the same thing. Next, go to the folder with the new firmware, right click on the file, copy, and then go back to the SD card, right click and paste. Also, you need to eject your SD card safely. At least, this is what I recommend. Step number three, insert the SD card into your camera. In this case, the EOS R. And before going further, I just want to make sure that you keep in mind the following things. Use a fully charged battery, like I said in the beginning. Do not shut down the camera during the firmware update and do not open the card slot cover during the update. Also, a thing that almost nobody is talking about but Canon does in its PDF guide is to remove the lens from your camera during the update. After this, turn on the camera, make sure you are in photo mode and put the camera into the P mode. The firmware update command is located in the settings menu, page 6, at the bottom. Enter the firmware submenu and press set to confirm that you want to update your camera's firmware. The camera will show you the current firmware. Press on set and then push the OK. A text with loading will appear on the screen. Just be patient for about 30 seconds or so and then you'll see this part where the camera is showing you the current version and the file from the SD card. The next thing to do is to press on set and the camera will start updating. Leave it like this until the update is finished. After the update, make sure you turn off the camera, take out the battery for about three seconds, put it back and turn on the camera. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you will be notified when I publish something new here on this channel. I'm Chris, catch you in the next one.